Now, you may or may have not heard about Alpine and Docker. So let's look at Alpine versus other Linux distributions, first of all. So if we do a uh, image check, I've already pulled down an Alpine image uh, versus our Ubuntu image that we did in an earlier video. So you can see we start off with an 83 meg versus 4 meg and with our finished app that we did in the previous video that's a 217 meg image so what we're going to do is demonstrate how much smaller that can be made but before we do that we're going to have to ask a couple of questions one of which is why would we want to do this so what's the benefit the simple answer is two factors security and space now, take into a fact that you do not even have a bash shell in Alpine, there is a great deal of security. So, by reducing the footprint, you have much better security. The second one is the speed, which you can also benefit from. Although the speed itself is just a natural side effect of having a smaller footprint, and that smaller footprint also reduces the attack vector. Now, with that said, there is a counter-argument. One of the major issues I have with Alpine Linux is that it is different from most of the other major distributions that we're used to, and therefore there is a little bit of a learning curve to it. That aside, I don't see that as a major stumbling block, so we're going to go ahead and create an image. So, first of all, here's my pre-created image whereby I'm going to install Apache, exactly the same as I did in the previous video, but this time I'm going to do so for Alpine Linux. So now that this template is done in my Docker file, I'm going to go ahead and build the uh, image, and then we're going to run to prove that it does actually work. So stay with me, this shouldn't take too long. So while that builds, let's look at why Alpine Linux. Um, first one, security. It has a such a minimum footprint that even when I wanted to go play with it, I actually had to use um, an alternative Bash shell because Bash wasn't there. So I actually had to use the SH shell. Um, that in itself was a bit of a surprise for me at first, but I have to admit, proved how secure it was that simple vulnerabilities aren't there because the packages related to them are not there. This limits the footprint and the attack vector down to whatever application you have installed and for that it's awesome now the second one is size it's not the smallest linux footprint out there but it probably is the best balance of size to application support ratio with 55 pushing on 60 maybe even more now a percentage of applications being supported on the platform so switching gears back to our Docker instance, we've gone ahead and built and now started our Docker image. So let's just go ahead and see whether it works. Now remember this is a different version of Apache from the Ubuntu one. This is closer to the one you see on CentOS or Red Hat. And you can see all is running. So we're just going to go ahead and compare now the sizes of what we have with our previous build, which was an Ubuntu-based image which we installed Apache on top of. So if we just look at the size of the images, we now have a image which is our original one, 217 meg, with a small 10 meg comparative with the Alpine Linux. So you can see what the benefit would be, and the major benefit is what happens afterwards. Now think of the saving when you have more layers, that can be a lot of data that's saved in the long run. And that's the end of our video for today. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and subscribe for more content.